Hey there friends, Ben Mack here and day two of creating videos for you. I'm calling this video channel Illegal Thinking. So if you want to get here, you can go to illegalthinking.com and GoDaddy's redirecting that presently. Thanks to Russ, who's my VIP coordinator at uh, GoDaddy. Thanks, Russ. Um, recently, I've been studying the Celestine Prophecy. When I say studying, I'm looking at things along the lines of, on the table of contents, have you ever noticed how many of these say a or the, or how many verbs there are? Um, or if you go into um, the, the first chapter, um, how, how much is auditory in terms of hearing? Um, it tends to be all, not all, it seems to be largely auditory words, which makes sense because you're reading and so you're sub-vocalizing in your mind and that's auditory. Um, I've been studying the structure of breakthrough pieces of work. I've been studying Donald Moss's um, breakout novels and I've been studying Larry Beinhardt's How to Write a Mystery because mysteries are at the heart of what's illegal and crime fiction and what you're getting here is illegal thinking. It's illegal because I'm incarcerated and in a land where we say that you have freedom of speech, uh, you can't speak freely if you can't think freely and if they make you take medications, well, they're making me take medications, so I feel incarcerated in my own mind. Welcome to America, friends that are outside and uh, you know what? You know what the difference is between being crazy and being eccentric? at least a million dollars. When I got broke, I felt broken. And then they started saying, you gotta take medications. So, what helps me are the ideas I'm sharing with you here. What helps me a lot is NLP. And I'm going through some of the basics of NLP. I'm looking at books like Introducing NLP and NLP for Beginners. Um, I love the models in neuro-linguistic programming. One of the models that makes more sense to me than what I find in other models in psychology are, for instance, here's a, a model that takes us from spirituality at the center, um, goes spirituality, identity, belief, capability, behavior, and environment. And one of the things that I hold to be true is behavior divided by cosmography is your energetic throughput. And it's ideas like this that have caused some people more consternation than I see fit, but that's on them. And I am today at the one, at the four week mark, one month, four weeks. Sometimes there's a litigious difference. But I'm going to be here in Quaker Town for two months, and today marks the end of four weeks. So today is four weeks and one day that we are entering in terms of my incarceration here in Quaker Tent. Incarceration, I have a curfew. I have to be in a home at 11. I have to sign out. I sign in. It's pretty damn cool. It's way light incarceration. Don't get me wrong. I've had folks send me emails saying, I don't know what it is to be incarcerated. And may I suggest I don't know what it had been like for you to be incarcerated. I'm simply sharing that in the land of the free where we have free speech and where free speech in my mind is contingent on free thinking and right now I can't do free thinking because um, I have to take the meds that they give me. So I've been looking at what has been given to other people their financial freedom and specifically recently looking at the Celestine prophecy. I've been interested in how he created stuff like the Celestine vision and, and uh, he goes on to God and the evolving universe and um, I'm imagining that what James Redfield did best was uh, that this book became a sales letter, if you will, for his of work, for his body of work. And I've been fascinated as to how the language patterns in here and the nine insights that he so well packaged within the Celestine prophecy, how those work. And what I'm working on right now is repackaging, repurposing. Um, the ideas of Kurt Vonnegut and his religion of Bakanon into something that is more palatable for the mainstream. On behalf of all my friends, on behalf of myself, 
in behalf of the other viewers, on behalf of behaving. Behave. Enjoy. Behavior. All right. Bye for now. See you tomorrow. Illegal thinking. It's not just for breakfast anymore.